Well, the most wonderful time of the year is also the busiest time of the year for Christmas tree farms. And for many people, tis the season for cutting your own tree. Our Byron Scott has a story. Are you being helped? For more than 30 years, Sarah Stockstill has been selling Christmas trees on her farm in Upper Marlboro. I have uh, four or five varieties in the field. You, first of all, you cannot grow Frasers in this area of Maryland. In the field, I have Douglas, White Pine, Norway Spruce, Blue Spruce, Canaan Fir. At Linden Hill Farm on Old Crane Highway, customers can buy a pre-cut tree, but the fun comes in selecting. Like that one way over there. Cutting down. <laughs> and hauling off your own tree. We need something that's larger for the den. Jan and Michael Fedarchik made the trek from Crownsville, Maryland, in search of two trees. A couple years ago, we bought one massive one, and it's just too hard to deal with. So we're trying to get kind of a, a six-footer and a, something a little less. It's a lot of fun, actually. Stock still gets a lot of help from her son, Charlie. Three-day weekends, and um, we get our spurts that get really busy, you know. Um, but it's a very good crew that we have working here. It's just neat. It's a holiday spirit going on, and uh, it's fun. To be sure, growing Christmas trees requires a lot of work. Well, it's uh, pretty constant. You have to mow to keep the, uh, the weeds and the trees down so the trees can grow. Otherwise, the weeds are getting all the moisture. Earlier this spring, they planted 150 of these saplings. And next spring, they'll plant 500 more, the following spring, 500 more, and the next spring, 500 more. And it will take at least 10 years before any of these trees are ready to be cut. As for the here and now, it's been a good season. Last weekend was so busy, they were lined up in the driveway waiting for parking places. And it was the biggest weekend we've ever had. The farm dates back to 1889 when Sarah's great, great, great grandfather built a house on the property. The land where cattle once roamed and tobacco was cured has now given way to a new crop and future. It's just a little bit of heritage. My father lived here, you know, grandfather had tobacco. It's just feel like it's keeping it going in something I enjoy. In Upper Marlboro, Byron Scott, CTV News. And Linden Hill is open on Friday, Saturdays, and Sundays. It's located at 4102 Old Crane Highway in Upper Marlboro. If you plan on going, you are advised to call first and make sure they still have trees. That number is 301-637-3768.